hope I say your last name right. Okay, so I prayed hard when I was over there. So I'm asking God to help me today. And so without further ado, we have our next uh, presenter uh, today is Emmanuel, Reverend Emmanuel Musinger. Yes. Yes, I said it right. Now, under my leadership, I have almost 10,000 people. 
have a church in Uganda, a church in Kenya, a church in America. I've been traveling, I've been to many countries. I've been to Europe, I've been to Israel, I've been here. I've been, I travel a lot. But guess what? I've been in Africa, many countries. I've been in Europe. When we were in high school, we didn't know anything about America. Because they, I was colonized. We get colonized with Belgium and France. We learned a lot of stuff about Europe. We didn't learn a lot of stuff about America. Then we decide Europe, Europe is good, France, Belgium. Then I come in America. Then I go in France. When I get there, I said, my God, this is little Africa. America, there's a lot of opportunity. That France, that Belgium, that Africa. You born here, sometimes you complain. I understand it. But they wish you should visit the Congo. <laughs> you know, I say this. Many American people, they take America for granted. They don't want to be happy. They don't. My mom, have, she has never been to school. My dad, the only sixth grade, to become a teacher. Now, I start life from nowhere. You, you're here, you eat breakfast. Have you ever had breakfast? <coughs> Have a bread. We used to eat meat Christmas to Christmas. We eat bread in the Holy Communion. That's it. That's the day the, the church has that. And maybe twice a year that we can have a Holy Communion. To get the bread, we need to take somebody work two days to go get the bread for Holy Communion. Now you're going here. In America, by the way, I'm making something joke. I say when I get here, they give me hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> they give me McDonald's. One guy's name is Dennis. He took me to uh, McDonald's. They give me Big Mac. Mm -hmm. Then I eat and feel delicious food. My God. Then I keep eating. My friend told me this junk food. I said, This junk food in America? <laughs> well, <it be. laughs> this junk food. This junk food. Yeah. <laughs> we missed this for a long time. Now you see you tell me stop eating this. <laughs> Let me feel it first. Yeah. Let me enjoy it. Let me enjoy it. Maybe a couple of years. I'm going to change the diet after being in America for two years, maybe. The people over here, they, they take for granted too much. Yes. Let me use an example of this. When I was I, I, I born in my village, I used to walk a couple of miles to go to primary school. Almost, almost 10 miles or 20 miles. Mm. You, you born here, you get, break, you get a bus to take you to school. When you get to school, they give you breakfast, lunch. The bear bus to take you back home. Then you tell me you don't have a high school diploma. When I was going to high school diploma, I go to high school, to high school morning. Nobody pay my high school fees. They kick me out of school. I go to work to look my school fees. Then I come back and pay my own school fees. Now I can, now I can graduate high school. Now you tell me I have a high school diploma, you don't. Do you think I'm going to buy that story? I will not. Maybe you enjoy some freedom you have, the more resources your mother and father make it, you forget about yourself. That's all I realize that many people, they lose opportunity in America. I like to challenge people. Think about yourself first. Think how you can focus on the future and be better. I say this always, I come from far behind. But I'm here far, I'm going further. Think how you can progress moving ahead, one step ahead every day. I know it's not easy, it's not easy. I say this, I love America so much. I don't like two things, I hate two things in America. First is the weather, snow, I don't like winter. 
Second, I don't like bills, too much bills. Yes, yes. Expensive. If you go to Africa or somewhere, and look at this bill, it's $10, $5, that's it. But here, $100, $200. <laughs> <laughs> They ask rent. Rent? My country, if you go to let's say Nairobi, it's very expensive. $200, two or three bedrooms. Here, $1,000. That's land in my house. I can buy a house without the rent here. Yes, it's expensive. But look at the life we are living. We have good roads, we have good houses, we have good pay tax. We understand that. Don't take America for granted. You have opportunity to be who you want to be. This is only, only to the world, the best country. You can change your life soon more than other countries. But I realize in America, it requires a lot of discipline to be who you want to be. Second, America is the man of the country. I, I, I tell especially when I'm speaking to African people. Not African American, African people who come from immigrant, refugees. I used to work. America is the best country you have ever seen. And America is the very dangerous country you have ever seen in this world. You think you have a freedom? You enjoy? Be why around you. Police man. I remember the, the first time they pulled me over, I was scared. I asked the police, are you taking me to jail? <laughs> <laughs> they put people to jail. Some they say they're racial, they're black people, they were black, they're gonna do this. And then one day I was, I didn't know, I was enjoying my first car. <laughs> and I enjoy, oh, I'm in the highway. <laughs> when I enjoy it, I see blue light behind me. <laughs> say, my God, I'm dying here. I was thinking how they put me some crazy. When I'm there, I ask the first thing is the road. Go you down. My first thing is I ask him, are you taking me to jail? <laughs> he started laughing and said, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> because this is a good country, but bad country. Little mistake, you can lose your life. Let me tell you know how good it is, you know it. Let me tell you something bad. In America, we don't have enough. If you commit any crime or any mistake, or you have a debt for somebody, you have a loan for somebody, we don't have a collection date in Africa. We don't have social security in Africa. Nobody knows my record. Nobody. If I kill somebody in Africa, it's very hard to know it. If I was in jail, nobody would know it. But go to Google. You find all American people, they are there in Google with the record. <laughs> if, you see, yeah, if you do search in an African guy in a Google, you never follow anybody. You don't have a record. By here, you've been in jail, everybody knows you've been in jail. <laughs> you do this, everybody, the police ask you a travel license, they know what you did in high school. That's then you lose your job. You are 50s. You did something when you were 20s. It's still following you. That's why America is bad. That's mean I tell you the least. To be genius, to be smart, to be very successful without good character is nothing. You can be very successful in America one night like this. Everything's gone. Everything's gone. Or you're in jail. And I hear it doesn't matter your police or your hood. You see some police, they get in jail now. Uh -huh. Doesn't matter your official. Doesn't matter you, you have a big pos position in government. Something can go like this one night. I have a lot of some young boy, you know, the Africans, they come here and this, they are in prison. Some of them 20 years. If you want to 
prison now, you were 30 or 20 years. Now you're going to go out, you're 50. Now you lose your life. America is better? Bam. You need to have it here. You know what you do? What you cannot. If you want to change your life, if you want to be the business owner, if you have a dream you want to achieve, I will publish my book called Dream Give Up. I wrote this book to tell people about my story and what they can do to change their life. I wrote this book because of two reasons. The first reason was how I can help other people. How I can be a blessing to other generations even I'm not there. I said what the best gift I can give to my friends, especially the people who have bad background. Your father didn't do nothing, your mother didn't do nothing, you don't, you're from nowhere, nobody knows you. You don't know what to do. That's me. How I can help somebody who has struggling like what I did, I struggled. Because I, I grown up without knowing who I am, what I will do, my future. I didn't know. My dad didn't tell me to dream. Nobody. In America, you have a chance. Even you know English, you listen to American dream. You listen to Martin Luther King speaking, you dream. Nobody teach me. Nobody tell me I can be who I want to be. You can change your life. Nobody. Now, the best gift I can give to the people who struggle like I did is to give gift for the book. And the second, why I read this book? How I can help my kids and the other generation who will come when I'm no longer here to the world, when I'm no longer here, and they are struggling like me, to give them this best gift. The last one, how people they will know how I overcome the situation I was in, into. I'm a refugee. One day, I, I was telling my wife last week, there's some story I will never tell you. I, mean, <laughs> I said, let me give you one testimony. One day I was, I helped a lady, then she helped me, I have a small room. I was there, and the rent was over. The owner for the apartment kicked me out. I become homeless. Then I go to my cousin to ask him to beg to stay there. Then I stay there. I start to pray, God, I know you. I serve you. Why am I homeless? <laughs> Why? Why am I homeless? Then I feel the Holy Spirit told me, I will give you the best place you will stay. And I will answer your prayer. Then I didn't believe it. The one day I was at school, and someone, one of my friends called me, she's a lady. Oh, my brother and my sister, you know, they are fighting. Come, let us go help them. When they are, I pray for them. They live in a fancy house, very good place. I pray for them, they feel joy. They say, can you stay with us? Let's become a house. <laughs> I stayed there almost two years. Now, if that God can open door, change your life like this. Mm -hmm. yes. If you believe. Yeah. I have a million of stories I can tell people. I used to, I used to, to, to wake up 5 a.m., go to work. Now I can help people who are on the bus to go. Now I can get to ride to school. I used to, to walk to learn English seven miles, going, sometimes no breakfast, no lunch. I make funny story always. I was one time I was in school with young ladies, always there in Kenya. They say, Oh, let's go to chicken and the chips. Every time I escape. Now the girls they tell me, Am I not gonna buy chips for me today? So I say, Okay, okay. She doesn't know I don't have any bus fare to go back home at all. Then I pretend I'm a good boy. So <laughs> okay. Now they make me a name in the class, mean boy. They think I'm a mean. I wish I could tell God how to do it. I'm a boy. <laughs> but I went to the end it. Even if they don't know, I come back, I come by feet. I wanna go back home by feet. 
But I trust God who will change my life one day. There's uh, two books changed my life. 2007, one day I was walking close to the bookstore. The cabin don't, don't talk. That's not my first time to see the picture of a white boy who seen the cover of the book. The book called Think Like Billionaire. And I asked how much they sell that book. That book was $10. I don't know what. Every day, I walked there just to read the cover of that book. Mm -hmm. After my class, I go there, I stand there. Think like billionaire. Mm -hmm. Say, so God changed my thinking. Mm -hmm. We don't need miracle of man. We need the miracle of man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you will never change your pocket until you change your thinking. I'm preaching now. <laughs> you will never change your money. You will never change your pocket. Faster things you need. Change your money. Change your brain. Don't think like a refugee. Don't think like a black guy, black lady. No. Don't spice yourself. Don't discourage yourself. Think like successful men. You will receive a lot of discouragement, but first of all, change your thinking. Before you change your background, before you are changing your entourage, your, your team, your associate, your fellowship, other people you work with, first of all, change yourself. Don't against others. Don't fight with the neighbors. Don't fight your classmates. Don't fight, fight your business co-workers. Don't fight your competitors. First of all, stop them first. Change here first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After you change you to tend to change other people, it's easy. Mm -hmm. If you can change yourself, if you can compete with yourself, you win yourself, you change your soul, you change your character, you change your behavior. If to change other people is very easy. Very easy. First of all, build the confidence in you. I read one book told me this. The confidence comes, comes from with the information you have. Mm -hmm. If you trust yourself, if you believe what you believe, to go to other people to talk, you never feel ashamed. No. I know who I am. You see my brother was talking about black and white. Some other people they are ashamed. I don't know how to speak white or black. They don't care. We talk about it. We talk everything. I like African people. We, ask, we talk everything. We ask everything. <laughs> <laughs> One day I, I, I took my friend to, to visit my friend, this white guy, he has a big, very big house. And he asked me, How much you buy this house? I said, I don't this, they don't ask that. <laughs> African person can ask you, How much do they pay you at work? Okay. How much money you have in your account? <laughs> say, You're married then? Even your age. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I make jokes sometimes before I don't know American culture. Yeah. I was having a, my co-worker. Then she graduated high school and college. Then she get paid, she enjoy meal. She start to add some weight. And I said, hey, look fat. What? <laughs> <laughs> and she got my boss. She tell my boss, the man who told me I'm fat. And they say, they call me to the office, they close the door, say, what's wrong here? <laughs> they say, do you tell someone so? She's fat. I say, yes, I did. <laughs> what's wrong with that? <laughs> so what's wrong with that? That's the lady, she laughed, almost fall down. So nothing wrong. <laughs> I compliment her, she's fat, she looks good. <laughs> say, in America, they don't say that. Wow. Tell me, two things. Don't ask the women the age and the, and the weight. Wow. Say, so, okay, in Africa, if you're 40, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Now, I'm going to tell you six things you can do if you want to achieve your dream. I'm going to talk about one chapter in this book. Put your dream in action. We have many people who are very excellent to think. 
and to talk by the way you love. Dream without action is just thinking. Dream without action is just talking. You are just thinking like you are sleeping. First things you need to do, put your dream in action. Step ahead. First step, starting working and doing. Don't just keep talking. We have people who are very excellent. I want to do this. I want to check this. I want to do No, everybody dream. Everybody dream. Who does have a desire? Everyone buy, want to buy a nice car. Everyone has, want to have a very good car. I want a Lamborghini. I do. <laughs> I want to drive a jet. I do. But what you do to get? What you do to get what you are thinking for? Many people, they are very good to talk, but they are not very good to act. First things you need to do, understand your dream very, very well and clear. We have people who just keep changing, go to school. Some students change major every night, every day. <laughs> Don't keep saying, I'm going to start this business, this talk, this start this. No. Took time. Think about your career. Think about your dream. The second thing you need to do, do what you plan to do. Don't, if, if you are planning to do something, then someone will show you that. You say, oh, I was going to do this, I'm going to change it. That will never help you. That will then let you keep moving on. Do something you are planning to do. Don't change things because of some circumstances or because someone do this. Don't do that. Do what you plan to do. Third one, set up goals. What's your goals? What's your plan? Do you have goals? Do you have a plan? Do you have something you want to achieve? How do you want to be next year? More than today, today and this year. Have a plan for tomorrow. Have a plan for next year. Have a plan for your future. So before I, I was telling her what my friend is. Smart people, they plan the journey even before they buy the air ticket. That's smart people. Smart people, even they write their obituary before they die. I was telling some people, Always, I think, after when a man will die to the casket or to the grave, when they read my obituary, do you anybody will so be excited? I want to do something when they're gonna say Emmanuel is dying today. People can say so and so who achieved A B C D now he passed away. We are scary to talk about death, but it's normal. We're gonna die, but do. Something great because this is your right time. You don't have another time. No, it's today. Don't think about tomorrow. Don't think about next year. No, start today to prepare your, your, your departure. One day, let me tell you the secret. One day, you will not be here. You will no longer be here. This time has come. You will not be here. You need to plan before your departure. This time will be coming. You want to say that your time is over. What do you do with your right time now? Think twice. Have goals, achieve those goals, short goals, long goals. After you do that, move on, do something. The fifth one believe on your dream. What you do. Believe it. If you don't believe it, start over. You cannot say, I have a dream to do this, but I'm not sure. No, you, are, you, are not, you don't believe what you are going to do and then what you are calling, what you want to do. If you believe you only do a dream, it's time to take a step. But don't allow anybody to come change your dream. No, understand it, believe on it. Another one, the fifth one. Believe on yourself. Have confidence. We have people.
people who doesn't have control. People, they keep changing them easily. Oh, stop to do this, you stop. Do this. No, don't allow anybody to be in your remote. You're like a TV. Somebody has a remote to believe in this, don't believe this. You're not strong, you believe that. No. Have a confidence. People who does a confidence, you will know them because other people discourage them and they change their thinking. But if you have a confidence, you will be able to stand up and to do something because you understand what you do. You have a confidence in your dream, you have a confidence in yourself, nobody will come to intimidate you. It doesn't matter, they are strong, they are successful, or they have a position in the government, they have a position, they, have, they, they are being successful, yes. Good for you. I like some work in America. They say this, do you know what you're doing? It's little, especially mothers, they tell kids, hey, do you know what you're, you're doing? There's another word I like, they say, behave yourself. Behave like you, do what you know, what you know how to do, have a confidence on you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter my educated man. It doesn't matter my mama is a drug addict. It doesn't matter my mama should go to school. It doesn't matter my black or white or chocolate from Africa, Jungle, whatever. I am Emmanuel. That's me. Mm -hmm. And one Emmanuel to the world. I only am the one who has a fingerprint, nobody has it. That's for me. Okay. <laughs> My blood is for me. Nobody has it. Why you can't tell me I'm not strong when I have something you don't have? Be strong, be courageous, encourage yourself, and have a confidence on you. Nobody can come to shake you. Because you are only the one who exists in the world. Nobody has your fingerprint. Don't allow anybody to come and intimidate you. Because a lot of women, yes, I am woman, you are not. <laughs> One time I, I tell some guy, I say, you know, because I'm a black, yes, I am a black, you are white, I'm not white. You are not black. I am so and so, you are so and so. Because you are somebody, I am somebody. Believe in you, I believe in me. You don't need somebody to approve on you. Agree. You don't need green light. You only one who needs to give you green. Do you need somebody to, to remind you your name is Jack? Do you need somebody to tell you you believe? Do you know your son and you are lady? Yo, I am. You know somebody tell me you know a man you call a man and you are man? No, I know already. And I know my dream, I know what to do, I know where I'm going, maybe you don't believe on me. But that's we never stop. Can you say a man? Yeah. <laughs> the last one. Involve other people on your dream. Let me tell you, say this. To this world, you will have maybe a hundred people against you. You have a lot of people who doesn't believe in you. But, guess what? You will have 1,000 people who believe in you. A mm -hmm. hundred people, we call them in the English, uh, contagious people. Le contagious in French. Contagious people. We have the, some people, they will never see any good things on you. Any. You make a joke and they say, it's, it's not funny. You do the, those things, you buy clothes, they say it's not fitting you, you don't look good. You make hair like this, they don't like you. You make them this, they don't like you. It doesn't matter what you do. The contagious people, they will, they will never be happy with you. Leave them alone like that. But look around. There's another door open there, which feel a thousand people who want to support you. Open room for other people come to help you. Found those people who believe in you, let them be involved to help you. Ask them questions. The best answer 
you will get the best answer when you ask the best question. Don't be afraid. Don't be feel intimidated. Don't feel afraid if I ask you this question. You will seem stupid. No. Smart people are those people who ask a question. I make a joke always. If you don't ask a question, you're gonna make a mistake. One boy from my village, he came to the city, he used to take shower in the river there. Then he said he going to take shower. He don't know where to take shower in the house. They use bath, they have a bathroom in the house. They have a bathroom in the house. You need to ask where's the bathroom. When he gets to the bathroom, he doesn't know how to take shower. Then he starts to take shower and he forgets to go there and take shower. People start to see the water is coming in the sitting room. Why did he ask people how to take shower in the house? Asking people what you don't know. There is people who know what you don't know. There is people who have what you don't have. There is people who want to help you. Always look the people who are looking for you. There is good people there, successful people who want to help you. There is successful people who want to support you. There is people who want to come to your shop. There is people who want to come to your restaurant. There's people who want to come to your church. There's people who want to know what is your struggle. They can help you. The help we would say here is not money, idea, advice is a help, direction is a help, connection is a help. You need to tell people, I'm looking at this and this, I want to be this. People will direct you to go to the next level. But don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. Another thing you need to do, avoid those people who disagree with your dream. That's not your actual, that's not your, that's not your, that's not your friend. They're just there to minimize you, to discourage you, to disagree with you, to disrespect you. That's not your thing. Leave them alone. Then again, don't argue with them. I don't need to discuss with somebody. You know, you know my name is Sons. No. If you don't believe me, yes. That's your choice. But thank you. Bye. Be nice. Leave them alone. Go away. Ahead, you want to find another good, nice exit to get a blessing. There's some people who are there to discourage you. Please avoid those people. You need to know those people you need to associate with and those you need to avoid. Always use your brain, your ears, your eyes to decide and to find those people who are supporting you, who does not. I remember one day, here in Indianapolis, not a store, I was working with some people, I said, don't believe what you believe, bye, I'm going somewhere. They told me, you don't what? You are refugee, you are black, you are young boy, you come from a rural area, you don't be that. you will never succeed here. Somebody told me that. Here, man. You will never move on. By a couple of weeks, he saw me on the Insta. <laughs> then we meet, he said, Oh, I see you're moving on. Thank you. So, oh, be blessed. Thank you. I pass on. <laughs> Don't allow anybody to discourage you. And when he's discouraging, you keep trying to negotiate with him to convince him you are a better person. No belonging here. God, He doesn't tell us with His mouth, no, this is not your place. No, you will never hear that. But when you get some place, you will see the sign, this is not your place. You are unwelcome to Him. Well, Bible told me, when you get to the place that you are unwelcome, Leave them alone. Even wipe the dust from your feet. Mm -hmm. Leave them alone with their dust. Leave them there with the trash. Go. That's me. They are full of trash. Leave them alone. Go another side. Where you get welcomed. And I believe there is a thousand, thousand of dogs who are ready for you, who are waiting for you to be welcomed there. But if you keep fighting for yourself, pushing, pushing, you will spend more time 
from nothing, then you will live there with the wound, with the pain. It's like a thief. So it's like a young lady, you're pushing a boy to love you, to marry you when she's not ready and she don't like you. <laughs> you try to, can you love me? No, don't negotiate with that. I'm almost finished, I'm going to leave the time to ask a question. If you have a dream, understand it well, uh, be confident on it, then move on. Start, take a step. Don't think you're going to do big things. In the overnight, we have, uh, let, me, let me use uh, this three things, two things. We have many people, they fail because they think their dream will bear fruit overnight. Like micro food. It doesn't work like that. No. It took years. I dreamed to write a book 2007. I published my first book 2020. It cost me many years. Don't think you're gonna, you're gonna work like that, wake up like this. And to be able to achieve your dream, let other people be involved in it. I met one of my mentor, 2017. By 2020, because I met one person, I was already having two books in Amazon. Now I'm almost finished my third book because I met one person. Now I'm helping others to publish books, to write books because I met a person. You can meet one person, become a blessing to you. And this. Last one is this. To the world, we have three people. I'm going to tell this, especially you guys, American people, you want to understand me. Some African cannot understand me. <laughs> we have people who like quick food, my quote, like they want to be rich overnight. They want to be successful like overnight. Those people, you find them in two places. In a grave or a jail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those people are robbers, a thief, smugglers, cartel, whatever, whatever. They want to sell drugs, cocaine, whatever. I used to work with one boy, he said, No, I'm quit this job, I'm gonna start to sell drugs, we have a gun here. He said, You know what? This guy, this guy gonna kill. To be successful is the challenge. Mm -hmm. Don't think it, 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 it will be like overnight. You are there. You're going to compete with the big gate overnight. No. You're going to die or you're going to end up in jail. And the second, we have people, <coughs> we call them people like gamblers. Invest a little, make a lot. You see them in the station always, they are lying <laughs> to buy scratches. Powerball. The Powerball is the 100 million. Everybody online to buy that ticket. They think they're gonna scratch, then they get a couple million dollars. There's the people who want to work a little bit, but they think they're gonna make it a lot. We have a last one, we call them champion. The champions people are the people who say this: it doesn't matter. How much the price to be successful it will cost me? I'm ready to pay. If you you are in America, we have some people who go to school, work two, three jobs. That's what I do. I'm doing my PhD in Christian leadership, and I'm working, have a church, have a family, five kids, wife, whatever, homework, book, reading. You, you can. That's people who want to be the champion. Don't think life you're gonna receive it by you know by gift. You want to be successful, you're gonna pass the baton like this. Yes, we have some people who get a good heritage, thank you for them, but we have others who work for it. Be the person who wanna be the champion, pay a price your life will ask for. Pay a price your goals will ask for. The life we, you dream and you desire has a price you want to pay. Be ready to pay. I'm ready to pay 
any price. I meet a lot of people here in India and they ask me, you crazy, how do you think you do? How do you do this? Sometimes I sleep a couple of days, a couple of hours. I can be busy. I, I used to work at two jobs, church. I don't call it my church a job, no. That's, that's, that's my life. <laughs> when I'm preaching to prepare a message, I don't think I'm working. That's me. The other job I'm doing that I'm working, reading school, I do that. You, because you like easy life, you don't want to pay the price. That's how you stay on the same level. To me, even to speak this English, you know how much time it cost me to read and to prepare my English to be able to speak English? That was my desire couple years. Now, I want to speak English. You can't wake up in the morning. I have some other African boys. We flee together from Congo. I go to school, walk by feet. They don't like it. Now, guess what? I become the interpreter. They pay me. <laughs> I was ready to pay the price to be able to become a tablet. If you want to achieve any life, be ready to pay any price in your life and your goals and your dream will ask you. Thank you. Anyone has a question? Dismiss some people out of your life in order for you to be successful. Do you I have, understand that? Yes, I have a person. I'm going to ask you a question first. Do you have a cell phone? Yes. Do you have a block anybody? Have I ever watched? <laughs> 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 If somebody is coming to you, <laughs> asking some stupid question, uh -huh. there is some button to your phone, uh -huh. unlocked and locked. Uh -huh. Do you have a lock anybody there? Uh -huh. Not yet? Not yet. Come on. I'm asking. You don't say it's the first time. Yeah. I'm asking the question. There are some people that you don't want to let go of, uh -huh. you know you need to let go of. Whether they've been your friends for 30 years, 40 years, mm -hmm. but you realize they don't have any goals. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yes, I'm going to tell you, there's some people who doesn't bother you. They're just there as a friend, but they don't bother you. That's good you're going to let them be there. There is another, I have one of my friend. Anytime you call me, he's going to start with cussing or discouraging me. You know what I do? If I don't block him, I will never ask his phone. But the best way, block him. That's the answer. Second, there is some group of people. Let me use an example. I used to drink beer and smoke. That was around 99. I get sick. Now I realize I am behind with the other boys who grew up together. I disconnect with myself. With these people, I go to other group. Now I change my life. Mm -hmm. yeah. I cannot say this, let me tell you. Anytime I'm traveling to my village or in Africa, I don't have time for them. But anytime I get any moment, we can meet each other, but I cannot spend more than one hour, two hours with them. I have already a mission. I left my my Kids in the I'm here at the church. I'm going to preach afternoon or in the morning. Now, you want me to talk? When I was dreaming, you drink the beer. You go do the this and this. Now, you call me, ask me money. When I start from zero, you're just hanging around and hanging around. But if I didn't disconnect myself with my classmate, with my other brotherhood, I should not be who I am today. Mm, that's right. Mm, right. Because this, I, I used to be in a group of people. Our jobs was just drinking and smoking. Mm -hmm. Just it. Yeah. To me, me to be able to be who I am today, I disconnect 
totally in those words. Now, some people, they die and they stay in the same level. But guess who I am today? I told you I live in the West